because solar panels only generate electricity during the day, all of this starts going away. So do you have a point of view? Indoors as well. Even with the great and continuous advances in solar technology, their efficiency is only in the range of 15 to 22 percent, depending on factors such as location, direction, and weather conditions. Have you ever wondered how we can efficiently collect energy from sunlight coming from varying angles from sunrise to sunset? Instead of creating more efficient solar cells, Stanford University scientists have created a breakthrough technology that can capture more than 90% of light. So what exactly is this impressive technology, and how is it applied? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Solar panels work best when sunlight hits them directly to capture as much energy as possible. For the vast majority of U.S. property owners, the ideal angle for a solar panel installation is close to or equal to the latitude of your home, otherwise on a south-facing roof, somewhere between 30 to 45 degrees. Tilt angle deviations of up to 10% in relation to the optimum tilt angle have less than 1% impact on the incoming solar irradiation. If the tilt angle deviations are in the order of 31 to 33 degrees, the solar panel produces 10% less energy. Moreover, a house built in the direction of less sunlight will only collect energy with an efficiency of about 10%. Solar panels will not operate at maximum production when clouds are blocking the sun, and they will not produce electricity when there is no available sunlight during nighttime hours. At Stanford University, engineer researcher Nina Vaidia designated an elegant device that can efficiently gather and concentrate light that falls on it, regardless of the angle and frequency of that light, which they called the Agile, an acronym for Axially Graded Index Lens. It looks like an upside-down pyramid with a point lopped off. Light enters the square tileable top from any number of angles and is funneled down to create a brighter spot at the output. The researchers were able to capture over 90% of the light that hit the surface and create spots at the output that were three times brighter than the incoming light. Installed in a layer on top of solar cells, they could make solar arrays more efficient and capture not only direct sunlight, but also diffuse light that has been scattered by the Earth's atmosphere, weather, and seasons. This is an amazing performance gain. For example, a 200-watt solar panel produces 200 watts of energy per hour, but in reality, a solar panel would actually produce about 70-80% to 80 of its rated power. This means that a 200-watt 12-volt solar panel would produce around 140-160 to 160 watts per hour. For comparison, when you add an Agile device of the same size on top of your panel, you can capture five times the energy, which is about 800 watts per hour. It is equal to the output that a normal solar panel produces in 24 hours if there are four hours of sunlight in the day. It is known that the price of this device is quite affordable, at an estimated $1.21 per watt. Let's do some simple math to see how much money we can save from Agile. The price for a Tesla solar panel is around $2.75 per watt. If you installed 15 ground-mounted solar panels with a power rating of 300 watts each, the total cost of this system would be $12,375 US dollars. Instead, you just need three 300-watt Tesla solar panels to cover three Agile devices. Your solar system will only cost you $2,475 plus $1,089 for Agile, bringing the full cost to $3,564. So, you'll save $8,820 while obtaining energy efficiency equivalent to that of 15 panels. So, with such high efficiency, what material are they made of? The geometry of the pyramid was a square of side 14.5 millimeters down to a square of 8.5 millimeters, giving a concentration of 3, along a total height of 8 millimeters with 8 glass layers, with each flat 1 millimeter thick. Scientists said one of the biggest challenges was finding and creating the right materials. These materials that were used also had to be compatible with each other. So, if one glass expanded in response to heat at a different rate than another, the whole device could crack, and it has to be robust enough to be machined into shape and remain durable. 
It must also have the ability to transmit a broad range of wavelengths from the solar spectrum, which spans roughly 300 to 1200 nanometers. After exploring many materials, creating new fabrication techniques, and testing multiple prototypes, the researchers landed on agile designs that performed well using commercially available polymers and glasses. It was made of different optical glass flats provided by Japan's Ohara Corp. AGEL has also been fabricated using 3D printing in the author's prior work that created lightweight and design-flexible polymeric lenses with nanometer scale surface roughness. Your Tesla solar panels are guaranteed to last at least 25 years. Scientists at Stanford University say that the AGEL lifespan can be up to 100 years, four times that of Tesla's solar panels. It is made from eight glass layers of high quality, so it'll be very durable, resistant to all weather extremes. Furthermore, AGEL requires little maintenance and is easy to clean. So how are these AGEL pyramids applied in life? AGEL could be used as a tileable surface on Tesla solar panels to generate more energy. Another possible advantage to lens-based solar panels, which would benefit homeowners as well, would be that extra space between the solar collector chips. It would be great if the lensing layer could be applied over used panels and stuck onto the sides of buildings or added to the roofs of affordable housing or apartment complexes to provide grid-proof and relatively low-cost housing. Moreover, Agile also has several potential applications in areas like laser coupling, display technologies, and illumination. We could see why this technology would be very applicable to solar-powered yachts, where most of the panels are, necessarily, pointing straight up. Agile could even improve solar cells for spacecraft. This new technology could turn out to be a pretty large-scale solution to boost solar production. More focused lenses, make panels more recyclable, and require few rare elements due to fewer actual solar cells needed. But we need to be patient, because there's still a long road ahead to get this out of the lab and into market. How do you feel about Agile? Would you retrofit your Tesla solar panels with this technology? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.